Hillbillyology is a 2020 drama. It is uh, written by Vanessa Taylor, based on Hillbillyology by J.D. Vance, and directed by Ron Howard. Stars Amy Adams, Glenn Close, Gabriel Basso, and Haley Bennett. The budget for this movie was around $45 million, and of course, due to COVID, had a limited box office release, bringing in about $38,852. The tomato meter rating is 26% with an audience score of 84%. That's, that's a big difference. That, that's where the conspiracy theory comes in, actually. Um, but oh. cir circling around to, to the plot, um, after a family emergency, young uh, Yale law student J.D. Vance must return home to uh, small town Ohio where he is from and confront a lot of parts of his past. Um, this is based on a true story, of course, based on uh, the memoirs, as we said, um, Hillbilly Elegy. Uh, so this is... Um, Similar to a few of the movies we've talked about in the past, we are talking about real people here, not just characters, um, but of course, dramatized versions of real people for, for a movie. Um, so this, this film is, in my opinion, kind of the, the corny radio pop of movies. Um, I'm, I don't want to call it good, but I also, I can't pretend like sometimes it's not catchy to me. I do think that similar to like cheesy radio pop, you know, like you can, you can create a good part of a song that doesn't mean that it's going to be a good song. That doesn't mean it's going to be a good album, but I do think that you can, you can invoke emotion maybe kind of easily. And I think that that's really what this movie does while watching this movie. I don't feel like it's a good film. However, there are quite a few scenes that I do think resonate with me emotionally. Um, but I just, part of me wonders, it's like, okay, if you have good actors, and a good director and a good film score is that really hard to do? I, I'm I'm not sure. It may just be kind of like with you know cheesy pop. Maybe you could easily create a moment that is going to resonate with you know a, a wide variety of people. Um, so with that being said, I, I I yeah, but basically bad movies shouldn't make me tear up like this. Getting you know watching watching the movie, there were quite a few emotional parts of it. But with that being said, I cannot call this a good film. Watching it, there was a lot of parts of it that felt cheesy and off i'm not sure if it's the screenplay or what i do think the the performances were great i don't want to say that it was the actors i think a lot of it did have to do with the disjointed direction of the film i think if you watch it you will you'll probably understand where i'm coming from with that um so to give this uh to give this a verdict um oh man I, i'm not sure where i'm where i was landing on this one i was hoping that i would come up with something on the fly because it is it is enjoyable uh, but the, hmm. I, I, I have to be objective about this one. I, I do have to give this one a no. I don't, I don't think that it's, that it's really worth your time. I think there could have been a lot better of a movie there and a better story there. Um, so yeah, I will, I will have to give this one a no. Uh, where, where do you, where do you land on this one? Mm, yeah, it wasn't until I heard your take on the film that I might have realized why I thought the way that I thought about the movie. Um, there are some things in this film that to a, a much less intense degree I can relate to. Um, another thing, um, I'm my family are McCoys. They mm -hmm. are like the McCoys, but we were from the West Virginia side, not Kentucky. So we're not directly related to the ones that were in the feud. Um, so for me, there was this weird idea of the, f and some of these things sort of came up kind of in me about how I grew up and some of the things about where I came from, mm -hmm. uh, because being half Indian and living in the U S recently, I've focused a lot on that part of where I came from. And I didn't recognize that there was anything unique about me and my, and my family, uh, mm. at, just like many people in Kentucky and West Virginia, migrated to Ohio, which is the reason why there's so many hicks in Ohio. <laughs> um, and I don't use the term hick in a derogatory fashion to me, it just kind of is what it is. Um, like I said, to a differing degree, and I, I don't know if this, if any of this is necessarily fair to say, but to a differing degree, I can relate to some of the things that JD had to kind of deal with sure. um, some of the reasons for um, some of the issues he undoubtedly had about, you know, self-esteem and standing up for himself and like the causes of that. Um, and also for me, 
um, the problem with the movie is that it is the problem with life. <laughs> <laughs> in life, there are no good guys and bad guys. There's yes, a whole yeah. lot of nuance. Yep. But in a movie, you you don't want that. That's not what you're looking for. And for a good story, you have to have that. But the thing yeah. is, is, this is based on a memoir. Yeah. So it's like, that's fair. There isn't a clear cut good guy or bad guy, and like that's something that makes the movie difficult. Um. And it was a hard watch, in my opinion. It wasn't easy to watch. It was it was difficult. You really end up dis disliking many of the characters. Like I look, I know this is a long winded one for me, but like I'm having the same problem, man. Like I don't yeah. really know where I stand on this one now. Like it's not easy. Yeah. I I to begin with, I was like, oh, I really like the movie, but it's sub totally subjective. It's just because it resonated with me in an emotional kind of sense. So like. And the camera work wasn't great. It wasn't the best camera work I've ever seen. Some of the dialogue was a little weird. The yeah. casting wasn't great. I had, I had a lot of problems with a lot of the dialogue, honestly. I feel, I feel like so much of what should have been subtle was just really heavy handed in the dialogue. Like there was a lot yeah. of, yeah, a lot of subtleties missing. Yeah. Uh, Glenn Close in the role, not personality wise, but physically reminded me of my dead aunt. Uh, not a six-legged colony insect I meant aunt. <laughs> aunt Sorry. <yeah. laughs> um, uh, I'm trying to say that one right now. Okay. Yeah, th this is the thing, dude. Like I, this is this, I feel like I'm just sitting here stalling trying to like, but I have to make a decision. It has to be binary. Yeah. Um, unfortunately. Yeah. We do. We do draw it to the yes or no. Yeah, there's a minority of people that will be able to relate to this film. So I personally, I will say this, I personally thought it was a good film. I enjoyed watching it. They put me in touch with some things that I think I personally needed to be in touch with mm -hmm. as, a, as, a, as a human. Um, and it honestly helped me understand some of the reasons why I am who I am. And I love the idea of roots in the movie. There's a lot of stuff that I think was great. But I don't think that on average, most people are going to get that. So for this one, uh, as unfortunate as I feel it is, I'm with Ty. I have to be objective as a film watcher and reviewer and watching of film. Um, I'm going to have to say no to it's a no. I think and, and honestly, I mean, I, I think that that is the because I, I'm in the same boat as you where subjectively I did enjoy a lot of it and it did resonate with me emotionally. And I think, but that is, yeah. Like if I try to be objective, I think I, I think that's where I land. Yeah. But, huh. Um, well let's, yeah, yeah. let's, let's, let's let spoiler Terry come out and let's get into some of the, uh, some of the details of this. And, uh, and that was yeah. unnecessarily <laughs> wrong, wrong, long. I just rambled. <laughs> oh, it's, it's all good. There's no, no issue there whatsoever. 